the week before lockdown happened, we knew the inevitable were coming and we were going to be told to close. We then did the process of coming in, throwing things away. We were fully booked for a specialist Mother's Day afternoon tea. We'd had a local singer book. We even got a license to serve alcohol and cocktails on the day. So all that work, it obviously had to go, but for very good reason. I came up with the deli box idea. I put it out there on Facebook and within a couple of hours, the first weekend was completely full. So I thought, oh, people might like this. We've started off doing a certain number of boxes. We said, we'll just fulfill that. And it's gone to doing double the amount of boxes that we said we'd do. It's things like ploughman's platter, lovely hand-raised pot pies. We've got a vegan option, a veggie option, and then all our handmade cakes that we're really well known for, the brownies that people travel miles for, they're all in the box. People get a lot of joy from food, and over the last eight, nine, ten weeks we've been in lockdown, the only thing you've been able to really go out and buy and access is food. <laughs> I miss the customers. We you get so ingrained in people's lives, but in a light-hearted background way. You see the families that have come in and they're growing. They come along with one, then two children, and it's just lovely, it really is. On this Facebook post, the amount of people that are saying, how much are we missing our lunches and our brunches? I got a message, I think some girls might have been getting drunk <laughs> the other night. It were half past one in the morning. I didn't see it till the next morning, but 1.31 a.m. Hiya, can you just let us know when you plan to reopen? Because we really, really love coming in for a hangover breakfast. Just, just, just wanting to know. <laughs>